up as a female in Iran had its own limitations. Women in Iran are considered secondary citizens. I was constantly being told what to think or what to say. The moment I decided to leave Iran, I had to think of what I wanted to do with my future. Leaving everything behind, my family, my friends, my education. Coming to the U.S., the transition wasn't easy, so I had to find a job. I knew that I wanted to be a teacher, but when I realized how much I love fitness, I thought the best career for the rest of my life is teaching fitness. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. When I became a fitness instructor, I really wanted to empower other women who didn't have this opportunity in Iran or other Farsi-speaking women. So I started my channel, my fitness channel. I'm sharing this information for all those women who have the same mind and are looking to get healthier. I'm teaching something that I really love and I'm going to enjoy my time with other people helping them. I used Indeed to find my job. That was what I wanted, so it couldn't get better than that.